So the Pope now, it sounds as though he is saying, well, evolution and creation are, in fact, not at odds. Father John from the Jesuits of Upper Canada joins me. Father, welcome. Right, thank you. Thank you All for right. having me. Well, it's good to have you. Um, so um, what do you make of the story as it's being presented? Well, in many, when you talk about evolution and talk of creation, we're really, uh, there are, in a sense, two different terms, like evolution is a scientific term, yeah. and creation is really a theological term. So there is no, there's no uh, uh, Do you think they describe the same thing? Uh, they can, but they're using different languages. And I think that's where people often get confused. You know, you can, so we can look at the whole evolutionary process as understood by Charles Darwin in his uh, book on, uh, on natural selection and origin of species. Right. And we can talk of it in scientific terms. And then the church may talk of uh, uh, kind of evolution in looking at theological language and use the term creation, like creation will be distinct from nature, although it's this, one is a theological term and one is a scientific term. So I think uh, the, being clear on the difference in the language, I think is very helpful in, uh, in seeing that there's no contradiction between uh, evolution and, and faith, for example. A lot of people are going to say, no, there is a contradiction because uh, while certainly you could say, well, this and this happened and you have a scientific explanation, but it doesn't mean that it wasn't done by God. I mean, that's easy enough to understand. Mm -hmm. But uh, And I think that a lot of people who believe in the creation theory may say, uh, look, um, variance inside species, we get that. That's pretty obvious. You can see it happen. But making the jump from this bug to eventually a human or whatever the thing is, actually, we don't see the scientific evidence for that. Mm -hmm. Well, there is quite a bit of evidence, of course, in, in the fossil record. And, and even just uh, reading through Charles Darwin's uh, book on the origin of species, he's got this amazing understanding. Like, he was really uh, enthralled by this question, why is there so much diversity of life in the world? And he comes up with this understanding of, of natural selection, that over deep time, you know, the 14.7 or 13.7 billion years of the universe, and over deep space, and that things can, can, can change with time. And so there's no contradiction then in the, cre the creation story in Genesis, which are really kind of mythic stories, myth in the sense of not being untrue, but myth in the sense that we're dealing with, with human truths that are so profound that we need to express them in, in story, like, like good literature and good poetry. Are, are kind of mythic in that sense. Well, I, I think there are people who feel that the Pope is drifting away from Catholicism. Non-Catholics in some circles are happy about that because even though they're not Catholic, they want the Catholic Church to change. I think it's none of their business. I'm not Catholic, uh, but I, I'm willing to let Catholics be Catholics. But there are also Catholics who aren't very happy about it. But the whole, I mean, in terms of evolution, uh, and evolution. evolution, some of the new things the Pope has might have said about mm -hmm. homosexuality, uh, they're starting to think that he wants the church to be different than it has been. In terms of, uh, like, in this story on evolution and, and science, he's, he's, uh, he's responding to the, uh, or really making an address to the Pontifical Academy of Sciences, which is a group of men and women uh, from all stripes, uh, men of faith, and men and women of faith, and men and women of no faith, but who, because the church understands that we need credible witnesses to science to help us understand, help the church understand, the, you know, the radical importance of science in our culture and in our world. Um, how do you react to um, there uh, would be people who would want to use scientific understanding to, in fact, prove that God doesn't exist? There's no necessity for God. Everything's just natural. Well, yeah, there's a kind of a material like Charles uh, or uh, Richard Dawkins, you know, the kind of celebrated uh, uh, person in, in the United Kingdom. But they're really kind of, again, I think they're kind of, um, kind of misaligning things. And then so they can say, like, science cannot prove or disprove God. Right. And that's fine. That's why it's called faith. You know. But then faith has to be, faith is also reasonable. In other words, so faith can encompass the whole evolutionary story quite well. And, and in fact, it gives us a whole different and more beautiful understanding of God, that the universe is unfinished, that the universe is open to novelty and to newness and, and to hope. And so, so that's very, that's consonant with uh, kind of an authentic uh, Christian theology of creation, if you will. There's a book that I think takes this up, something along the lines of, Do Monkeys Go to Heaven? Oh, yes. Are you familiar with it? I am, yes. What's the answer to that? Well, sure, monkeys do go to heaven. Do they? But monkeys go to heaven in their own way. In a sense, I mean, it's a rhetorical question, but yeah. in a sense of saying all of creation, of God, in a sense. Now, how that creation came about, I have to use my, my brains and my, my astrophysics, my biology, my biochemistry. So how creation comes about is through, we understand it through our scientific understanding, but at the same time, that doesn't preclude that we have a theological or spiritual underpinning to it as well. So if as a Christian, one says that monkeys go to heaven, 
Yes, why? Because monkeys have been created in the fullest sense, so they're of God. They're an expression of the, of the beauty and the diversity and the mystery of God. So therefore, in the final end, if you will, all of creation is, 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 is subsumed or has final meaning. So maybe, maybe that's what one could say. Do monkeys go to heaven? Yes. Why? Because all of creation has final meaning in the love of God. Like love is eternal, love, love never dies. So it's from that perspective that I would say yes monkeys do go to heaven. So in this statement from the Pope, is he trying to come from a perspective, do you think, of um, there are scientific mechanisms we can look at and understand, but God started the machine? Well, you could get into problems with that in a sense. Yeah, there is a kind of a form of theology called deism. In other words, God is kind of like a watchmaker, start the system, and then let it run and not be involved in any way. And you uh, don't buy that? No, I think that it kind of pre yeah, this it kind of minimizes our understanding of the of the mystery. So in, but like, you and I have free will. Well, yes. Well, that's the whole thing of the novelty of the human. Like when the humans came on the scene, how that happened, no one knows yet. I mean, through the whole we have well, our, a lot of Christians think they do. We have our simian <laughs> simian ancestors. That's why I have my tailbone. You know, so I mean, it's a it's a remnant of my ancestors five to six million years ago, and uh, I don't need the tail anymore. So. So, so there's a... I don't know. I think it would be handy. <laughs> that's right. Yeah, if you want to swing from trees. Well, maybe, see. But, uh, that's right. Yeah. I might. So I leave that I could to... could have used it when I was a little boy, clambering around in the trees. I leave that to my, my brothers okay. and sisters. Like, like, as you know, the chimpanzees, are maybe there's 4% difference in the genome between humans and, and chimps. Now, that 4% makes quite a difference, you know. It does. You know, and the fact that um, monkeys have hands, one could say it could make us pause, you know, in a, in a PAW sense of the word. But, okay. Uh, so, so we're related. In other words, our genetic understanding shows that we're related. All right. And so we've come from these common ancestors, and that doesn't minimize or that doesn't degrade the dignity of humanity and the beauty of humanity. You know? All right. Well, Pope Francis says evolution is real. He really uh, recently, as I just touched on, makes some uh, comments regarding sure. homosexuality. He's going to be a controversial pope. Would that be fair to say? Well, he has uh, certainly with his Jesuit training and his uh, Jesuit background, uh, he He's open to all questions. I think that's the authenticity of faith. Uh, never to be afraid of, of question because the, the search for truth will, will lead you uh, on a good path and yeah. to be uh, open to all questions and never to uh, I, to be I think of that's good advice for uh, the religious. It's also good for the scient uh, scientists as well because uh, there are areas where they've started to close their mind as well. That's I, the unfortunate area yes. too as well. Thank yes. you very much. Well, thank you. Glad Great to, to have here. you. Thank you.